well, we've got Brian Gluckstein right off the top of the show to talk about. You come on over here. Hello there. Talk about some gorgeous. Oh, come over there. Come over here. Some gorgeous pieces that I'm going to call these curated by you because the interior design show, there's so much to see. Yes. So we sort of need someone to come in with your eyes and sort of pick and choose those original one-of-a-kind pieces. Uh, these pieces are standouts. They're done by artists. Yeah, Canadian artists. Canadian artists. And they will make a statement in your space. Yes. These gorgeous. are some of the most sophisticated Canadian artists. I saw them at the interior design show. The work is unbelievable. Um, really world-class. These, these people are world class. Absolutely. This, we'll start off with Christopher Solar. Okay. I, I love this lamp. Look at this oak. How beautiful that oak is. She's sexy is what she is. Gorgeous. Like really Look classic and legs. timeless. And I love black shades. Look how cool that is. Me too, but the drama. chair was, is really fantastic. It is the same oak. And then look at the seating. It's in leather straps. Oh, I love that. And then has that beautiful pop of color. And he does all different color woods, different leathers, different felts. Really very sophisticated. My favorite part about it is actually that pop of lime. I know. When because I saw it's it, it just, drew me. Yes, it's a sophisticated piece and then there's that. Like, it, it, it gives it life. Well, you'll see that with everybody. And then we have Khalil Jamal. Yep. His, it, it's all felt and aluminum. This cool. is inspired, I think it's inspired by an artist named Pete Mondrian, who did paintings in these primary colors, very color blocked. Yeah. But I love the way these things just come off and you can put them wherever you want. Oh, nice. These shelves. Just fantastic. And then this chair he did. I love which is this. These are these cushions? Yes. And they're all piped in the same colors. Yeah. And it has the metal strap to hold it together. And then this table, which is all made out of felt discs with aluminum, and these. you can change the height. So oh. you can just take them off. Oh, that's so cool. So think change of the, the folks that don't have a lot of space. You want this for just a drink? You make it small. So like that, you want to be color. Oh, change the color. This he also told me because I spoke to uh, some of the artists before the show. You can take this apart and you can you can sort of put it into different configurations. Exactly. I think that's very cool. I'd love that by my door. It's very it's beautiful. Be it looks kind of Hudson's Bay ish. Doesn't it? Like it's got Doesn't a little it? bit we of need that one of the, happening. We uh, signature blankets on top of yes, that. Yes, that is gorgeous. And Cindy Grenke. Okay, so look at this okay. is such a piece. This is she's unbelievable. She and I, we were talking about how she did this. She dries. These are all real orchids. Mm -hmm. She dries dries the orchids and then sets them into this resin disc oh, with so this cool. wood base. So really sophisticated. I mean, this is just, a, this. Re, they're really art. The pieces yes, are art. Yes, this is art. So I said to her, uh, do you commission pieces? And at that point, that is what she's doing. At some point, she is going to expand it. Because this sort of thing, I mean, she said this would take her, it could take her about a week, which yes. to me is a very short amount of time to make a piece of art like this. For you and I, it would take a year. About and a we year. We still couldn't get it right. It wouldn't look like this. No. no. But she's, she's fantastic. Year. Then Adam, Adam Fullerton. Yes. Okay, this stuff is so cool. And there's a real trend towards sort of the industrial yep. look, great for lofts, great for houses. It's all repurposed. The chair you're looking at over there is a bathtub. Oh! Oh, I knew it looked familiar. Doesn't that look like? So this is, yeah, this would be the, the drain bathtub. where and the, the plumbing would go through. Yes, and these are, he That's cut so strips cool. out of the bathtub to form the base of this. Oh my gosh. And then this console table is from a radiator. You can see the radiator oh, parts. Oh, cool. And then the wood is from the, it's, um, it's from the Toronto Harbor, reclaimed wood from the Toronto Harbor. Amazing. And look at this light. You can see it says made in cannon, old glass canister. I so love it. So they're all, um, the, the base is is a uh, from a disc brake on a car so cool. repurpose things but really cool again industrial but sophisticated industrial but really like nodding on that whole idea of reusing and repurposing I think that is incredible and, uh, and I think coloring. these pieces are okay. incredible Eugene Ponell so don't eat your spaghetti with these <laughs> no well, you can the, the great can thing you? is if you have a buffet you just set it like that and everyone just takes their <laughs> just coloring. Take your coloring like that you take your that's fork so cool and your I love it it's not unbelievable that's so, amazing just really great artists and we have to support our great Canadian artists. Yes, we do. So what we are going to do is we're putting all of the names of the artists on our website. Contact them. Uh, let them know what you would like in your home and you get a piece of original art because yeah, you can buy it's the sort of stuff that you can buy and support for sure.